Lord's countenance, but does bear its witness. Uh, By the way, just your eyes, man, the way you act, the way you stand in, everything I can tell you, I don't know, Israel like in sight. Yep, none. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not an Israelite, right? <laughs> no, honestly, I do know a lot about the Israelites, though. Right, right. Oh, yeah, what you mean? I'm actually a Muslim. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you ain't part of ISIS, are you? Yeah, he gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so, let me ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Right, so, are you guys sailors? Huh? <laughs> let me ask you, you're a Muslim, right? Yeah. You know, you know, have you heard of the satanic verses? Yeah, I heard about that one. What did she say, man? So, you Somebody know, Muhammad worshiped, worshiped like the, uh, a, a trinity of goddesses. No, he did. Yes, that's, he did. That's bullshit, dude. In the original Quran, of, yeah, it was That's true. not true. Though. No, it is true. Oh, come on, man. You I don't know talking. history? So, oh, now Muhammad? You, you don't know a goddamn thing. I'll talk to you if you put the video down. Uh, All right, just get the video off. Okay, we're going to put it in. You don't know this. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you something. If Muhammad was, was a Muhammad a prophet? Yeah, he's a prophet. What's that? I gotta go on the bus, man. I'll, I'll come back later. No, no, you ain't coming back. We don't want you to come back. Go, go, go to Syria. Join ISIS. <laughs> yeah, go join ISIS. Go, go blow yourself up in a suicide bomb. <laughs> that, that'd be the best thing he could do. Uh, you see, the Muslims don't like that shit when you bring up those satanic verses. <laughs> yeah, they had to take it was in the original Quran and they took it out. That's crazy. And he was worshiping all them ancient uh, uh, Arabian goddesses. <laughs> Muhammad's a big faggot. And I got another point too, like if Muhammad was such a great prophet of the Most High, how, and if he's greater than the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shai, the one they call Jesus, then how come he had to go to the angel, uh, to an angel to get all of his knowledge? How come the Most High himself ain't talked to him? You know what I mean? The, the, didn't the Lord get all of his knowledge straight from the Most High? Straight from the Most High. But they put Muhammad over the Lord. Oh, they put it over the one you call Jesus Christ. They say Muhammad's greater than him. They gonna get fucked up, man. Ain't no worse. Well, there's some worse. The only thing worse than the Muslims are goddamn Edomite. Oh, she probably was. Yeah, she had that spirit. Hey, old girl, that. That was today, man. She made a clear. Uh, she told me. Sure, just look. His dad does have a, a, a wild, uh, uh, a, a far out spirit. Beautiful. Yeah, she said she fell in love with it. No, she expressed her feelings with a poem. What the fuck? Sit out the movie. Man, but you know that's how these bitches are so stupid. Now, I can, I, bitch, you want a poem? I write your ass a poem. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll make it sound good too. Yeah, I'll put it in the <laughs> what no different. What's that? Yeah, high food form or a hexameter or some shit. Man, I'll, I'll write your ass a poem. I'll make it sound smooth. Speak some poetry, pussy. And these bitches are so simple. That's why they are so easy to trick and fool. So that's why. The, that's how. That's Go why. Billy Corgan. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the serpent went to Eve in the Garden of Eden because. Well, because the woman is so easy to manipulate. You heard us. But see, <laughs> see, we're not going to really mani mani manipulate y'all. That's my problem. I'm too honest. You know what I'm saying? I talk a lot of shit, but I'm actually a little too honest for my own good. Damn. Damn. We have to do this. Oh, glory. Good God. The most I don't give us, man. We don't have to manipulate these stupid people, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. She looked like your boy uh, Quagmire off of Family Guy. She had the Quagmire chain. You see that? She looked like the elephant man. Oh shit! I ain't gonna make fun of her. The most I might get me shit. That just look like a deformity. Most I get it too. Yeah, no, you. I was just saying. The most I got her. He got that bitch, but hey. But look, I pray the most high don't do that to me though. You know what I'm saying? 
the, you, the most high will fuck you up. He got some tricks for your ass. Remember last week, Brother Shrews was turning the motherfucker into a baby and a chicken? Yeah, turn his ass into a chicken. Oh, yeah. What's up, homie? What's up, man? Most high ain't playing, man. You see, you just seen what he could do to somebody. You see that? That put a fear in you, won't it? Yeah. You see something like that? Like, whoo, I'm glad it ain't me. Yeah. That's some fear right there. That bitch had an actual quagmire chin. Came out this fucking far. Oh man, that's good. That's she probably that's good money right there. Man, people play. They play more for deformity. That's not that's something you get everywhere. You know views? Could that probably get on some <laughs> porn hub? They get all What's that porn site called? It's a porn hub. Porn hub. Yeah, man. That's on Alexa's top channels. If you go, go on the Alexa, that's the that ranks all the top internet channels. Ooh, like no, like half, half, half the top 50 websites are porn sites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look up porn mm -hmm. and Google. Porn yeah. hub pops up first. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That freaking weird shit. Get, that's the most viewed shit. <laughs> They just cost the most. They cost double the regular. Fuck, man. I've seen some, I've seen some hot midgets, too, though. Yeah, I had a hot midget. I met him right across the street. This was years ago, man. Years ago, man. This bitch was beautiful, man. She's like, this tall, man. I've seen a badass one, dude. I've been smashing one down. Man, man, man. Sometimes we go too far in these videos. Get that okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. No, that's that's good. Yeah, that's what fat. You see, once again, she wearing a tight black look. Every last one of these hoes wearing tight black pants. Oh, that's the same person who said that too earlier. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it is too. They got their ice cream. About to go lick each other's coochie. They probably just did. Now they out going. They ain't got no dudes with them. These some nasty bitches, man. All of them got the same thing going, look. Get him All of them got the same shit going in the back here. These nasty hoes, boy. Oh, that's a eat a bike, can't even ride a bike. <laughs> Every last one of them, tight black pants. And then, and we look. Oh, it's over here. Fucking amazing. We like pussy. All right. There's nothing wrong with liking pussy, okay? Nothing wrong with it. Well, actually, we encourage it. You got a lot of faggots out there. And no, we, I mean, we don't like seeing women walk around like that. But what, I mean, we've just been talking about this for like two hours straight. We're beating a dead horse. These faggots have fucked the pussy up so much. I'm about to get a cook. man's ass and then go fuck the bitch the same time. That's nasty, man. Going up beside a man's asshole. Here it is, you got a, a beautiful girlfriend and you, you fucking dudes on the side. I got a scripture I want to read, hold on. I think which one I want to do. I want to end this video on a good note. Uh, there's so many good ones, man. I think it's 19. Okay, let me get this. Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Where the Bible says, Exodus, uh, what was that, 15 and 3? The Lord is a man of war. 
The Lord is his name. So his son is a man of war too. Matthew 10, 10 and 34 says, Think not I am come to send peace. I come not to send peace, but a sword. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. Like the scripture say in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God. Because Yahweh Shai was the Word in the flesh. Okay, he was perfect. He kept, he kept the Word. But it was about, it said his vesture, his garments was uh, dipped in blood. Okay? Mm. Covered in blood. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name was called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. It said the armies which were in heaven. Where is heaven? It's the sky, outer space, heaven, the sky. So the armies are coming out to heaven, those armies are those chariots. The, the, the UFOs. Get it, hold on camera. Oh, you see oh, the nuns? Oh, you're talking about the nuns. Oh, they're next to that truck. Oh, I didn't see him. I thought you saw him on that bitch over there. I didn't know what he was talking about. Really? I just still didn't see him. You know America's about to be destroyed? That's what's going on. So you going to beat my wife? She said yes. Oh, uh, for real shit, you can beat my wife any day. <laughs> and sometimes you gotta ask them, man. They might say yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it never hurts to ask. I need a good woman. Here we go. Uh, let me read this again. It's Revelation 19 and 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the almighty God. So the Lord said he gonna tread the winepress. A winepress is where you stomp on grapes. So the Lord gonna be stomping on food, he gonna bust your grape, okay? That's what he's saying, the Lord's gonna bust your motherfucking grape and all the juices are gonna pop out your head. When the Lord's stomping on your head, you got brains popping out your ears and brains all up on the ground and brains all up on his clothes. It's like your dude when he stomped dude's face on the curb in American history. Or like them old horror movies when they show you, they run over, or like, uh, or like when Gallagher busted open a watermelon. You remember that? <laughs> You know, I got warrants, bitches. Oh, that's the black Gallagher. That's the black oh, Gallagher. Yeah, that's a was hilarious. Yeah, your boy Dave Chappelle's on a whole nother level. And he's a goddamn Muslim. Fuck you, Dave Chappelle. for Dave. Yeah. That's why the Lord fucked you up, Chappelle. Ain't no more Chappelle. Chappelle show, they ain't doing that no more. That shit got canceled. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that it with these shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. So what do you do with a rod of iron? You crack motherfuckers upside their head. That's what you do with a rod of iron. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he tread at the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What does that mean? You know what that means, King of Kings, Lord of Lords? Because we're all going to be king. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. King of Kings. Lord of Lords. We're all, we're, we're all going to have our own territories that we're going to rule over. Uh, I'll back that up real quick to prove it. There's an elect of the elect. Yeah, there's an elect of the elect. Is it going to be kings? We're going to be kings. Lord willing, and he's gonna be the head king. Oh, we're gonna be kings regardless. All <laughs> oh, right, a nation of kings and priests. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna prove it. Ranking though. order. <laughs> I'm gonna prove it. In uh, ranking order. Yeah, this will be reordered. <laughs> you see her? Oh, she was 
down. That's the best you gotta get. Alright, here we go. Look at this. That's the Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him. <laughs> you know what that music is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She started laughing. <laughs> then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. Just like us, we've forsaken everything and followed the Most High. Because that's what the Lord said. He said, You got to pick up your cross and follow him. A cross represents hardship, that's right. represents sacrifice. That's right. Okay, you're supposed to sacrifice everything. That's right. Just like Luke 14 says, He that does not hate his mother and his father and sister and his brother in his own life, he cannot be my disciple. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, how was I? Uh, we read that again. Not a cross. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And yeah, how was I? Said unto them, Verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which means reincarnation. Regeneration, generation come from the word gene, like the word genesis, which means the beginning. So to regenerate means that you're born again. You go back to the beginning and you start again. Are you reborn? The reincarnation is in the Bible. Because Peter ne never. Uh... Right, hold on a second. So verily I say to you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration or the reincarnation. When the Son of Man shall sit on his throne of his glory, ye also shall sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sister, or father, or mother, or wife, that's a big one, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Oh, you know, a lot of people got a problem with that. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You got a lot of so-called teachers in Israel. They're all about being the leader and controlling people and thinking they're better than other people just based upon how they look. No, you know what I'm saying? The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. That's something a lot of you motherfuckers, you need to learn. Okay, you need to humble your goddamn self. There's nothing worse than a proud spirit. People think they're great and mighty, <laughs> like your boy Nathaniel. And somebody need to read him that scripture, or General Yohanna. All, all those so-called leaders, they all have a proud spirit on it, man. Yeah, wicked as can be. I'm going to finish up that revelation. And I saw Revelation uh, 19 and 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun. And he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Lord, that ye may eat the flesh of kings <laughs> and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of the mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. So yeah, when the Lord brings that death and that destruction on his earth, the birds are going to eat good on that day. <laughs> and I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. That's talking about when the Lord comes back out of the sky with the angels and the so-called UFOs and the chariots, the government's going to try to fight him. All right? The, the government going to think they're going to fight the Lord with his aircraft and his space. Independence Day. Yeah, they fuck him on. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet, the rock miracle. Oh, they say, oh, that's the Antichrist, the false prophet. That's <laughs> just talking about all these fucking fake teachers out here. All these liars, these deceivers. And with him the false prophet, the rock miracles before him, which he had deceived them, 
that have received a mark of the beast and them that worship his image. They were both cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So that lake of fire is America burning. That's the lake of fire. It's not hell, it's America getting destroyed by that great fire, okay? And all the people getting burned up in it. That clearly said it's on actually on earth, didn't it? The lake of fire. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse. You say the remnant? Yep, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Why would he say remnant? <laughs> remnant. Remnant. Oh man. I'm about to pass out. I'm gonna bid y'all peace and farewell. You can turn that off. Y'all keep rolling. About to get this all pouring. Just fuck.